Hi, Alice. I would like to read to you uh, this evening a book that I always read when I was quite little. It's called Wombat Stew. It's written by Marsha K. Vaughan and was illustrated by Pamela Watts. One day, on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. And decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is all that water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blops of billabong mud. Blops of mud, laughed Dingo. What a good idea. Right, eh? In they go. So Platypus scooped up the big blobs of mug with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. That's your billy can. See the billy can? Yeah. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shade came the iron box, came Emu. She asked her graceful neck over the brew. Ho, oh, ho, oh, Dingo, she flattered. What have we here? Gooey, brewy, wombat stew, boasted Wingba, uh, Dingo. If only you were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry. A few feathers will set it right. Feathers? Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy, munchy, for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old Blue Tongue the Lizard came along, sliding in off his sun-soaked stone. Silly dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck at his tongue and his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Right eye, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around, the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat Stew. Up from the red dust popped a kidna. 
Wait a bit. Not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now, I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me, for a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clear eyed dingo stirred and stirred and all the while singing, Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bushcock knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to the koala to think of gum nuts, Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy... Crunchy, munchy, stew. Koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Ah! cried Dingo. Now my stew is only missing one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. Wait! Stop! Hold on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto, I'll taste it. And the very clever Dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. I'm poisoned. He howled. You've all tricked me. And away he dashed, deep into the bush, never to sing again. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Merry Christmas.